Tumor genetics is one of the major research interests uh, of the Center of Human Genetics at the University of Bremen. And in this area we are also working with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, the abbreviation is CLL, which is uh, today the most common leukemia in adults. In fact, uh, CLL is not one group of diseases, but uh, several groups which can be distinguished based on their genetic makeup. And uh, to distinguish between these uh, different genetic subgroups has also major impact for prognosis. So this is why we also do diagnosis in that, this area. To get the results of uh, genetic analysis in CLL, we have to use either peripheral blood or bone marrow samples, which are put in culture in specialized media which allow the cells to grow. As an alternative, we have also the opportunity to sort cells. So this gives us a good method to uh, have a particular type of cells if we need it, which is uh, in CLL normally not necessary, but uh, plays a major role in other cases of tumors. So after a few days, we can prepare the cells, or we have to prepare the cells, and put them onto slides which we then use for microscopic examination. There are usually several metaphases on a single slide, but we have to find them, or we can use programs to find these metaphases. And the next step is then to analyze the metaphase. Every single metaphase has to be analyzed for the presence of genetic aberrations, which we can see on the level of the chromosomes. One good example and a frequent example in CLL is a group of diseases characterized by trisomy 12, but there are also other genetic subgroups, for example uh, deletions of the long arm of chromosome 13 is uh, characterizing another subgroup, and so is uh, deletions of chromosome 17. As a more refined method, we have the opportunity to use labeled DNA probes, which allow us to focus on different specific parts of chromosomes or to label whole chromosomes. These techniques are known as fluorescence in situ hybridization. We do this analysis from two reasons. First, it helps the patients and their doctors to find the right therapy. And the second, we learn more about the biology of the disease which will help the patients in the future.